evening breeze and guess what just arrived in the post today i got this beautiful package from amazon for 20 pounds it's the uh, my little pony pretty parlor with the exclusive peachy pony which i find absolutely adorable um this is going to be an unboxing i have not scripted anything because I, I can't, I don't know what's really inside and what to expect. Uh, this is a replica, or like a remake, of the original 1980s peachy or pr pretty parlour. Um, and I've heard that a lot of people are complaining about this cat, so let's see if it's really as bad as it is. <laughs> this is the side of the box. It's uh, very pretty, it shows Peachy Pony with all of her accessories on. And it shows that like she can wear a hat and um, the bridle. And the back of the box just says dress, brush, and make all of your ponies so pretty in the Pretty Parlor playset. This wonderful set includes lots of accessories to groom your My Little Pony. It also closes uh, to, to a carry case. And uh, once again, it says that there's an exclusive peachy pony inside. And I feel like uh, this shows everything that is included in the set. Um, the bottom of the box doesn't really have anything interesting. Um, it's just got the Hasbro logo, which is upside down. <laughs> and uh, the top of the box just has the Mortal Pony cute little rainbow logo and the pretty parlor written here. Uh, so far, so good. I really like the packaging. Uh, from the outside, there's no plastic. It's literally all just cardboard which i think is really good considering uh the current environmental <laughs> issues going on uh i've taken the liberties of um cutting the tape open so let's see what's inside Ooh, more cardboard <laughs> okay um um oh man this is like really stuck in there hang on badonk we have this uh, peachy pony who's stuck <laughs> inside and she's begging to be set free so I'm gonna get my exacto knife and I'm gonna cut her free from her cardboard and sadly plastic um, prison oh and she's stuck on the other side too Ooh. Don't worry, I will rescue you, my darling. <laughs> now, we're going to start off by looking at the pony first. Right here. She is a beautiful orange colour. Kind of pastel-y, I say. And, uh, yeah, she definitely lives up to her name, Peachy. I love her hair colour. Her hair is this beautiful, beautiful pink colour. And it is it is genuinely quite soft. Like, it's definitely a lot better than the um, My Little Pony... Uh, than these big ones. It's a lot better than these big ones. These big ones have straw. This This is genuinely very, very silky. And... I'm going to have to take this little plastic uh, bit off uh, because this is used to protect the hair and uh, I don't know how much success I'm going to have with taking it off. I'm always scared of doing these because I'm scared that I'm like cut the hair if I do it wrong. I'm free! My hair is free! <laughs> oh, honestly, she's so soft. I love it. Uh, oh yeah, and her tail hair is attached to her leg by a rubber band uh, to protect the hair from getting tangled which I think is really good and uh, the only issue I have with the 1980s ponies regarding the hair is that because it's quite short uh, I'm gonna have issues plaiting it and like making it into like different hairstyles but that's with all of the 1980s ponies and that's just my uh, subjective opinion um, and I mean visually I, I think it's really pretty it's just I want to plait it and I can't really. Uh, the tail hair on the other hand is also really soft and because it's it's very long I'm, I'm gonna plait that <laughs> because it's very long so I guess the tail compensates for the head. Anyhow let's have a let's have a look at the accessories. <laughs> so off the bat we get the I think we get the walls encased in plastic packaging. Um, 
I understand this packaging is to like protect it from getting scratched or whatever. I'm not going to complain too much about this. Um, yeah, these are the walls and uh, all of the stickers are pre-stuck. And from the reviews that I've read, apparently the 1980s set, you had to stick the stickers on by yourself which um, apparently was an issue for some of the retro fans who had this as a child but I don't think it's a big problem because when I was a child I had issues with sticking things on straight and I'd always get annoyed so personally I don't find it to be an issue but just be ready that these stickers are attached already uh, so we've got wall number one we've got some beautiful tissue paper that I'm probably going to reuse for an arts and crafts thing Wall number two. Ooh, Peachy has uh, gotten some trophies, eh? <laughs> and it's got a cute little mouse as well. I find that really pretty. Oh yeah, and she's got even more. She's got these little ribbon things. Wow, Pe Peachy, Peachy. My goodness. <laughs> You're a talented girl, eh? And um, this uh, wall has a little stand with like brushes and uh, with a brush and little, I think, perfume bottle or shampoo. I don't know. It can be anything. A little mirror. A uh, little basket for your little kitty friend to sleep in, well, sleep in, <laughs> and a little plant, which I think I think that's really pretty and it adds character to the to the stable or parlor. Uh, it makes it seem like a place where Peachy would enjoy to live, or you know. So we get these two. I think these attach like this, but I'm not sure yet. Um, we get. I still haven't uh, excavated the uh, the instructions. <laughs> we get this cute little saddle that we can put on Peachy. I'm going to be putting that on later. And uh, this is like a very nice kind of lavendery, pastel-y purple. I think that's really pretty. Uh, and it's made out of like this um, kind of rubbery material. So like it bends to the shape of a pony. Like it's not hard, and I d like it's not going to snap. Like if you give this to a child, it's not going to break because it's. Um, Malleable? Is that the correct word? Yeah. Uh, you get this bridle that goes around, once again I'm going to be putting these on later, uh, that goes around her little little nose. And you get this uh, little string so that like, well string is made out of the same material as uh, the rest. The reins, there you go, the reins. <laughs> silly, silly me, I forgot the name. <laughs> and um, with regards to the other accessories that you get, you get I think another rain? Rains? I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'm going to have to mess around with this. Um, you get this cute little orange hat that's meant to look like a straw hat. It's made out of a harder plastic material than uh, the rest of the accessories that you put on her. But it's still like soft enough uh, for you to be able to put it on without it like snapping or causing any damage to the pony like scratching the paint or anything because I find that like some of the newer accessories I'm really scared of putting on because I'm like scared that it might like scratch the paint off of some of my flower ponies they don't but I'm just paranoid and um you get this cute little cat which is made out of a slightly softer plastic as well I'm not sure if you can see but I can like I can squish it it's a cute little orange cat uh I'm not too sure about the face but I like it, I like it, it gives character, it's got like a little hole in the bottom which I think you'll be able to put that on um, the other saddle because apparently there are two saddles which I'm going to be showing a second later you get another cute little hat, oh I love this one, this one's so cute I might be painting the bow on this one pink to be honest um, but this one's so cute, it's made of the same material as the other hat, very squishy, very like it holds its shape, but it's soft enough to put on the pony without any damage or without, you know, once again, fear of it snapping if you're giving this to a child. Um, in our third bag, we get... Hang on. We get this beautiful little um, instructions manual, which is really good. Uh... It shows you how to construct the bridle and the the reins and things like that and what to do with the saddle which is great and it like it gives you pictures hang on I'm holding upside down silly me <laughs> yeah uh, how to like construct the saddle and the the reins and things like that 
Uh, not that there's much construction needed, but this is good for like a kid because it's, it's pictures. Uh, I would have preferred it if it was coloured, but that's just my personal preference and I don't think that that's like a ne necessity. Oh, and here we've got the instructions on how to uh, put the actual parlour together, which I'm going to be following uh, just slightly later on. Okay. And uh, in this bag we've also got the little parlour door, which I think is actually really cute. It gives me like uh, the like cowboy films vibes, you know. Uh, if you've ever seen any any cowboy films, how they like walk into the bar and they like open these doors and the the other cowboys, like the bad cowboys, stare at them. Is it just me who thinks of that? <laughs> we get a cute little comb which I think is really good and the comb looks really robust it feels robust like it's not really gonna snap I mean the little the little spiky bits are kind of bendy but I feel like I feel like I could use this comb on my real hair to be honest it's just small <laughs> like I'd trust this with my hair <laughs> we get this cute little brush that I think we'll be able to hang on inside the uh, the parlor because the parlor I forgot to mention has these little hangers here so I think that we're going to be able to hang stuff off of them and on the other side we've got like this uh, little shelf thing it I think it's a shelf uh, it just sticks out a little bit okay and uh, yeah as I was saying oh I just realized yeah as I was saying uh, this is the little basket for the for the cat oh I thought that the cats uh, bottom hole <laughs> um, was <laughs> was meant to be so that it stays in the basket or like in the little saddle but apparently there's not like a little thing that you can so yeah the cat can fall out oh no but yeah I just realized um, these uh, these reins I called them reins are actually meant to go here and yeah they're meant to hold the saddle up okay the more you know now I'm just going to put the accessories onto a little pile here. And, uh, oh yeah, last but not least, we have another bag. And this one's got an adorable picture of Pre Peachy and uh, with the name Pretty Parlour. Oh, and it's so cute. I think this is the back piece. Um, it's so cute. It's like when you're transporting her, it's like she's sticking her little head out of the, like, of this, like, hole. You know, like, in real stables, you've got, like, this gap so that the horse can stick its head out. Oh, and I, f I think it's adorable and it's in this gorgeous 1980s art style with the obviously the name My Little Pony and yeah I th I think this is, is, is it's so cute I love it right now onto uh, the thing that I'm afraid of constructing this thing <laughs> um, children can do it I can do it children can do it I can do it <laughs> right let's look at the instructions okay Okay, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention about this house is that oh it feels it feels a little bit flimsy, like I'm scared of touching it. Um ooh, yeah. I'm like oh my goodness, okay there you go. Yeah, it it feels really flimsy and the hinges keep coming out as you may have seen in my construction video I uh ooh, hand reveal ooh, I mean it's not like you already haven't seen my hands. <laughs> but yeah, there's a mirror at the back of the, uh... Oh, yeah, it's falling apart. <laughs> uh, you know how I talked about this? Well, there's a mirror on there. Ta-da! So Peachy can admire herself. Beautiful. Uh, this fell apart. Oh no, I'm gonna have to have another fight with the hinges. It's like, if you are giving this to a child, please remember these hinges are flimsy and you might want to construct it for them in that case, uh, because if we snap this, there's going to be one sad child. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, uh, there's a stand. Uh, I'm not sure if you've noticed that, but yeah, there's a stand and you get like a little name tag that you can 
slide in. Apparently the 1980s version had more name tags uh, outside of Peachy. It had, um, I forgot what names, but I just had other names so that you can use it for other ponies. But I guess if you do have other ponies, you can make your own out of the cardboard provided from the box. <laughs> or something else, like it's a nice like DIY experience. Okay, now I'm going to go on to talking about how the accessories interact with the playset and Peachy herself. Uh, from what I've seen in the pic- oh yeah, from what I've seen, this little shelf here, I'm going to remove Peachy for a second. This little shelf here, you can put the hats on the side, if I can find the other one. Ta-da! It's cute little storage. And, um, the saddle is saddle and put, you can put on her like so and ooh, attach it to her bottom not her bottom but the bottom of <laughs> her belly uh oh hang on yeah after having a little fight we finally managed to get the saddle on um i'm really silly and uh yeah <laughs> i do I, I do quite like her big forehead though <laughs> okay never mind with this little saddle what you could, what you have to do is you have to take this little uh kind of plasticky uh, I was gonna call it string but you know what I mean this little plasticky rope and pull it through the bottom pull it through the bottom I said there you go like so and you can attach it around her under oh I did it the wrong way around silly me oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, can you tell that I'm nervous? <laughs> okay, and you can, um, you can like pull it through as so. As such, there you go. It's not like a belt. There you go. Ta-da! And you can, you can put that around her, uh, belly like we did with the saddle. I'm gonna be doing that later because I like the saddle on her. I think it's cute. I don't know who's gonna be riding her, but someone is um and you can you can attach this to the little you can attach this to the wall like so for convenient storage um the little bridle you can attach the reins to um by you can, you can construct it and make it like into a circle like this And you can attach the reins, uh, like so. So this is all relatively easy, it's just me being silly and not, you know. <laughs> and you can attach the reins like this. And uh, to put it on her, what you do is that you, uh, you, first of all, you make it not into a circle. Put it around her little, her little mouth, her little muzzle. Yeah, this is the first time putting this on her, so it might be a little tough. Uh, you put this hole around her ears, if her hair gets out of the way. It's a bit fiddly, because it's the first time doing this and the plastic needs to like get used to being like moved around, etc. Yeah, it's a bit tight. And then you can put the reins on by just clipping them onto the little sticky outy bits. Oh no, this is falling apart. Perfect. And now she's all geared up to be ridden on. <laughs> Which is strange. Have you have you ever thought of that? Like these ponies are like very intelligent in the show and they're sentient and like you're putting saddles and bridles on them. Like they don't need that, right? If they're clever like if they're so clever you can just tell them where you want them to take you, right? strange strange world <laughs> and um oh yeah this this third little this third little bit as as you saw you can you can take this little brush and put it here and uh if, if you're done having the bridle on her you can attach it to the third little uh hanger here to the third little hanger here <laughs> and um uh, you can show me uh peachy off here 
and okay i'm gonna put on the little cat saddle because this saddle is meant for the cat <laughs> Okay, she is now saddle free, and uh, I can put the cat saddle on by undoing it first, and then putting it on top of her ass, so. The bottom of it isn't curved, but I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't really sit on her back perfectly, because the bottom isn't curved like her back is, because her back is, you know, as you can see, it's slightly curved. But that's fine, like it's not really a, that much of an issue if you tighten this properly. Um, yeah, you put it in her underbelly. And then cut. Put, okay, then I have put the little cat saddle on, or the little cat basket on. We can now take our little... What should his name be? I think... I think Timothy? Dan? <laughs> cat <laughs> his name is cat apparently according to my cameraman and you can take him out for a little walk he's almost the same color as peachy so um yeah that, that's cute like i think that that's adorable and you can use it for other stuff like um for example my gorgeous um littlest pet shop cheese accessory there you go she can be the cheese cheese pony <laughs> cheese pony uh, or my little Philomena figure, there you go, she can transport Philomena wherever she wants to go if she lays down, there you go. <laughs> See, the, the, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, kitty cat. I am concerned about him though, because there, there aren't any uh, safety belts, so if she goes fast he might fall out. <laughs> As such! <laughs> Okay, um, we've also come to the conclusion that since the uh, hats have little air holes in them, we can also hang them up like so. You don't have to do what they did in, on the packaging, you can do whatever you want. Speaking of the hats, let's put one on Peachy. If I figure out... Okay, there you go. See, it wasn't difficult at all, I just kind of slid it on. Um, don't be forceful with the hats, but because they're made out of, once again, I'm going to mention, they're made out of soft materials, so if it's a bit harder, just keep pushing, it's fine, it won't break, hopefully. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Peachy in her little yellow hat. I, um, I think it's really pretty, but because she's orange, I feel like the colours are a bit too similar, so I'm going to put her white hat on and see how that works. I like, personally, I like to store my hats here. But, um, I'm gonna put her cute little hat on, her white hat on. I think it goes this way, I'm pretty sure it goes this way. Yeah, as you can see, it's a tiny bit of a struggle to put it on because the plastic isn't used to being kind of played with. But, um, yeah, here's that. It's really cute. I mean, the only issue I have with it is that it covers her eyes, and I don't know if that's my fault because of the way I put it on. But then again, like, the ear holes are there, so... Yeah, it kind of covers her eyes. I feel like her peripheral vision is, isn't going to be very good when she has this hat on. But still, very, very cute little accessory. And if you've got more ponies, um, as far as I know, it should fit onto any other pony that you have from the 1980s uh, or the retro style ponies that came out um, a few years ago, I think. I'm not sure when these ones came out, to be honest. I'm really sorry. I'm a terrible pony collector. <laughs> so I love these hats. And now, on to the criticisms. Um, one of my pet peeves is that uh, there's a brush here, which is really good, like, it's a really good comb, and it's a really cute colour, but I'm not exactly too sure where to store this. Like, do I put it with the hats? I mean, you have to get creative, because, like, on the packaging there isn't, like, a special compartment, so I feel like you kind of have to put it with the hats. And another one of my pet peeves that you guys might find more interesting is uh, the bridle. It's purple. This thing is purple. Whereas on the packaging... Just let me get that. On the packaging, it's blue. It's, it's blue on the packaging. Which... 
personally, my, fav my favourite colour is purple, so I'm completely fine with that. And also it's the same colour as the reins, which I think that that makes sense. But why did they include a purple bridle, uh, not a purple, a blue bridle, sorry, a blue bridle on the packaging when, once again, when the bridle that you get isn't blue? It's, 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 it's not. I feel like they kind of should have gotten that sorted out before they released it. <laughs> But once again, that's not my problem. If you've got a problem with it, you know, don't don't expect a blue bridle. It's always purple, uh, and I'm I'm not the only one who has this purple problem. If it's a problem, um, the people on Amazon also said that theirs was purple, so you know, it's not just a one-off issue. Um, and yeah, apparently uh, this cat's been changed. Uh, if I can find any pictures of the original 1980s cat. I'm going to include it right now and yeah and I mean aside from the general flimsiness and everything that I mentioned I have no real issues with this set uh, I think it's absolutely adorable and it's great for a collector and it's like it's a great like show off set like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this open uh, on my shelf and kind of uh, show it off and I'm gonna keep the little cat here I think it's absolutely adorable how they included the cat and um, the hair as well, I, when I was putting the hats on and the bridle on, none of the hair came out. Like, it's uh, it's pretty robust and as far as I can see, it's cut properly because I know that with some of the newer ones, you can get like a tuft of hair that's longer that's longer than the rest. Um, but with this hair, every all of the hair seems like it's the same length and it seems like it's really staying in the head, none of it is coming out. So, like, if you decide to fiddle around with it, or, like, if your kid decides to fiddle around with it, it's fine. Oh, actually, some hair came out of the tail, like, a little bit. Oh, wait, yeah, that, that yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but, like, a bit came out of the of the tail, which I think is a bit of a problem. But, I don't know, it's not really that big of a deal for me. Like, as long as the whole, whole tail doesn't come out, it's fine. Yeah, a t uh, quite a lot of hair came out. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I take I take everything positive that I uh, said back. No, I don't. It's still a really cute pony. I love her. I love Peachy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, the protective the protective gear that that was on top, the one that I had to fight. Um, it wasn't on the tail. That's a very good point. So that yeah, that could be why some of the tail hair is coming out. That is a very good point. But yeah, definitely, I'm gonna be definitely plaiting this because I don't want this to get matted. Even though it's gonna be on my shelf, I'm paranoid. <laughs> so yeah. That's it for the Peachy Parlour set. Uh, if there are any questions or anything that I haven't mentioned, please, please let me know. Uh, all around, I think it's adorable. £20 on Amazon, at least now, uh, as far of December 2020. Uh, £20 on Amazon is an amazing price for everything that you get, considering these ponies. This pony by itself costs a tenner. Um, but not this one specifically. You can only get Peachy in this set. If you want Peachy, you have to buy this whole set. And to be honest, that's not even a problem for me because I love it. It's ador it's adorable and it's really interactive and I'd recommend this for collectors. Definitely collectors um, who are careful with their toys. If you are giving this to a child, um, the recommended age is 3 plus. If I'm going to put the box 3 plus, that's... Thank you. Three plus. Um, but personally, I wouldn't give this to a three or four year old. I'd probably give this to like an eight year old maybe <laughs> because of how flimsy the hinges are. And I mean, I am definitely a lot older than three years old and I had a lot of issues with it. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my only kind of con. Like if you're getting this to a child, be careful. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, apparently Amazon is really good at replacing things. Um, if you get like a damaged box. My box was luckily in very, very good condition, but I have heard of people having damaged boxes and getting replacements. Um, but yeah, I have nothing else to say. If there's anything that I haven't mentioned or anything that, that bothers you or that you're concerned about, please let me know uh, in the comments below. And uh, aside from that, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!